Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the vocoder of the Motif XS with a microphone. The microphone that I have is a condenser microphone, which is very much suited for vocals, but when it comes to vocoding, the best type of microphone to be used is a dynamic microphone. Now, for the people out there that don't know the difference, the difference is the following. Um, if you notice the uh, condenser microphone has this um, I would even say like a vintage shape while the dynamic microphone usually has a uh, bulb head and uh, also there's usually a, a price difference between the two um, simply the built the way these things work um, make the dynamic microphones more suitable for vocoding now this specific one, which is a condenser microphone, the Rode NT2000, is phantom powered. Uh, some dynamic microphones are also phantom powered. If they are, and that's the one that you have or you're going to purchase, you want to have a power source to provide the voltage for a phantom powered microphone. That means that you'll need an audio interface of some sort or some other mean to uh, have these microphones uh, work properly. Uh, and, uh, and once you have whatever is needed, that means either a phantom powered microphone with the audio interface or a simple dynamic microphone. Uh, I'll show you the next step of how to connect it with your Motif XS. Once you turn your XS on, the first thing you'll see is, of course, the uh, full concert grand. You'll want to go to the vocoder voice. To do that, you go to preset 8 and section 8 and I believe it's uh, yeah voice 13 um, there are a couple of vocoder voices uh, if you scroll down you'll see the funky vocoder um, the vocoder pad 1 and 2 there's some strings back there uh, I'll just go ahead and leave it on vocoder with delay now if you hit the keys you'll see nothing happens. That's because of course we haven't connected the microphone. Like I mentioned earlier, if you have a phantom powered microphone, you're going to need a audio interface that supplies phantom power. I personally have a um, Presonus Fire Studio where I have connected my microphone to the first port and turned on the phantom power voltage switch. Once you're prepared, the next thing you'd want to do is take a one fourth inch cable, connect it to the output of your audio interface, number one, and connect the other end to your uh, AD input of the Motif XS. Once you've connected the mic and everything's ready, you can bring up the gain of the microphone. And of course, you can raise the volume of the speakers. You can do in the meantime any other necessary preparations, but keep in mind that if you have a dynamic microphone, you can connect directly. This is only for a condenser mic where uh, that needs phantom power and has to be connected through an audio interface. Okay, so now that we've set up our microphone, the next thing that we're going to want to do is to select the vocoder voice. The Motif XS has four vocoder voices in its ROM. The first one, the vocoder with delay, is in preset 8, H13. But before we get going, we need to set up the vocoder through the utility mode. Once in the utility mode, we select voice audio. When we select voice audio, we basically do it in order to change the output select. The vocoder is like a big effect. 
an insert effect. So we need to change the output select from left and right by scrolling with the wheel to our right to insert L, which is in the end of this um, list. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, there we go. Insert L. Once we've done that, we basically exit and we're ready to do some music. Okay, so if you've done everything correctly, you should be getting some uh, vocoding by now. I'll go through the uh, four basic vocoding voices so you can get an idea of how they sound. This is the funky vocoder. This is the funky. So those are the four voices uh, with a vocoder on the uh, Motif XS. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I'll be seeing you soon. Take care. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Take care. I'll see you later on.